Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. Happy Friday, happy weekend. I hope you all have a wonderful one. I know I am looking forward to it. <clears throat> Fridays, um, I'm always super tired, so um, it's here's to the weekend. <laughs> Wanted to give you guys a quick update on the card that I made last night during the live video. If you didn't catch that video or join us during the live, uh, I invite you to watch that video. It'll be the video right before this one in my video feed. Um, but I made uh, this card during that video, and so I wanted to give you a quick update on that. Um, so I, gandy, I ended up giving the card a real good spritz of gold uh, glitter dust, so it's really nice and sparkly. I also added this cute little thanks sentiment, and that is from this packet of stickers that I have from the Pebbles line called Along the Way. And this is not new, so you probably won't be able to find it, um, you know, new, but you might have it in your stash or you might have something similar. Um, but this is from 2018. So um, I really like this pack of stickers though because it came with three different. Um, three different sheets. I have several package, packages of them here, but um, it came with three different sheets. Um, one is like an off-white color with the black text. There's pink with gold foil text and then the black um, with white text. So I really love these stickers. Um, <clears throat> and I was happy to be able to get um, a couple of packages of them um, at the store because I've used quite a few of them actually. So um, anyway, if you have those in your stash, pull them out and put them to use. They're really fun. Also, I used this Stampendous um, Kitty Paw Print to add some additional detail to my card. This stamp is just a cling mount stamp. It's called number CRC217 uh, from Stampendous, and I just like the little kitty print design. So, super cute. But I ended up stamping that on the back, like the kitty has walked through my ink pad. <laughs> And then I also stamped it on the inside as well. So that kitty has been busy. And then I also gave the inside of the card a quick spritz of glitter dust and the back as well. So it's really, really sparkly. So, um, and this stamp here is from Penny Black and it is from 2012 and it's called Embroidered. So there's that stamp there. So I thought this would be a fun um, one to use for the February So In Love February hashtag series that we have going. So anyways, just thought I would give you those quick little updates that I made to the card. And uh, thanks so much for joining. I do have a package that I'm gonna open here from Lonnie Joyce. She sent this to me today. So I thought I would open it and share it with you. So I'll go ahead and do that. And uh, let's see what she's got inside. So Lonnie, I was not expecting your package here. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. She's got a little board here, um, just a piece of chipboard here to keep everything nice and safe in that envelope and it worked out perfectly, it seems. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is gorgeous. Purple rain boots. Who wouldn't love to have purple rain boots? Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> um, so the rainboot die is from Impression Obsession and it is one of my designs, but all these beautiful flower dies are not. They are from something else and they are amazing. Look at the detail in those. Oh my word. Those are gorgeous. There's raindrop um, bling here. That is stunning. That's just amazing. <laughs> the detail in those itty bitty little dies and how you've actually added them to the card with like 3D. Wow, wow. These purple flowers here have like a yellow center with nouveau drops maybe and there's like a pussy willow here. Um, this one has a little beautiful uh, bling in the center. You've even added a little silver um, rain boot buckle. Oh my word, this is gorgeous. It's spring, I got so excited I wet my plants. <laughs> and look at these dyes here that she's used. These are beautiful. Goes from gray to white to cream. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see. She's got a little post-it note in here telling us what some of these things are. 
She says, Tailored Expressions, Bloomin' Boots Sentiment. So that's that. Trinity Stamps, Raining Rhinestones. Those are beautiful. Uh, the Ladybug is from Spellbinders CL04820. So see the little ladybug? <laughs> so cute. And then Sunflower Vintage Labels 5. The, these are gorgeous. <clears throat> Absolutely gorgeous. And she's got another um, die in here as well. Isn't that a beautiful little one? And she's written me a nice note in here. Let's see. She says, um, thank you for all the informative videos. I discovered your dies last year and have enjoyed them. The stitched frame tag um, has become her, one of her favorite go-to tags. She says, um, I like your idea of using buttons to secure them. The video you did on personalized stamps inspired me to have my brother design a logo and upload it to rubberstamps.com. It came in a couple of weeks and is a nice quality rubber. Oh, excellent. Uh, the rain boot die is perfect for some uh, tags she's working on for a spring tea. And she says, your dies make us hobby crafters look good. Thank you, Lonnie Joyce. Uh, well, absolutely, Lonnie. Oh my gosh. Well, when you can make things like this, it's truly inspiring to be able to design products. Wow. Amazing. Oh, look at this is the logo that she had her brother design for her. And she had it made into a stamp and she's embossed it there on the back. How beautiful is that? Oh, I love that. Oh, how sweet. That's amazing. Amazing card. Oh, look at this cutie. So this is my die from Impression Obsession, the gnome. <laughs> oh, and he's sitting on the plank from, or the uh, sentiment that's from the tattered um, or deckled tag set. It comes with this little sentiment banner and it has cute little stitching on the sides. You can see that. So cute. I love you this much. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute as well. I love this deckled set here. She's added um, some foam. She's die cut a piece of foam with that die as well and used it as her dimension. Beautiful. And then this is a lovely die here as well. This is so cute. What a clever idea to use the board there or the uh, sentiment panel as a swing. I love it. I love it. So cute. And I love the color palette too. Inside it says, happy birthday. The sentiment is from Mama Elephant Pandemonium. Oh, I bet that's a cute set, all of pandas. Cute, cute. Absolutely beautiful. I love how you've added a little bit of pink ink around the outside edges of your die too. That's really cute. And his little sparkly mittens. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. Too cute. I'm gonna put these so you guys can see them because those are gorgeous. Oh, eat all of the cake. That's a fun sentiment. This is my um, cowboy boot tag die. I love how you've used it on the front of the card here, making two boots. That's so fun, and I love this embossed background that you've done. Uh, it looks like she's pressed ink down into the depressed side of the um, embossing folder, and that's how she got that two-toned embossing look. Isn't that fun? Love the little... Uh, silver details there and I really like the added um, detail of the glossy accents on the boot that's so fun I love it I love it I love it your boots will still fit. <laughs> eat all the cake your boots will still fit this is great and this is my cowboy boot pear die from impression obsession I love that <laughs> and I think this might be a sentiment from um, Impression Obsession as well. The cowboy boot sayings, maybe, or cowgirl sayings. Eat all the cake is from Stampin' Up! Birthday Banners. Oh, that is so cute. Yes, that's a perfect um, sentiment to use with the cowboy boot one. Oh, how fun. And then she used her um, handmade by stamp again. Gorgeous. <clears throat> oh, look at this cutie. So this is the tag that she's talking about, how it's become her favorite go-to tag. I love this tag too. <laughs> oh, how cute is he? You've used the um, Pine Sprig die from Impression Obsession. I love that die. It's one of my absolute favorite dies. Absolute favorite. I love it so much I actually ordered another one 
um, just so because I use it so much I can cut more <laughs> at one time. <laughs> I love this little holly. Oh my gosh, Santa is cut out of like flocked paper. I'm wondering if that's like um, velvet ribbon you've die cut. How cute is he? Look at the details on his eyebrows. She's even added little embossing on his eyebrows. Oh my word, that's amazing. Oh my goodness. Wow. So very cute. From Santa's workshop. That's a cute stamp. Oh, I love this. So very, very cute. And here's what she's talking about, how she's using um, the uh, button to hold the um, tag tie in place instead of actually tying a knot. And I love the addition of the little jingle bells up here too. That's so cute. So cute. Oh my word, look at this one. <laughs> oh my gosh, so she's added a cute little paper flower button there. Great, I love this pink ribbon. Cute little pink jingles. And she's got these beautiful ice skates that she's filled with all this beautiful greenery. Oh my word, this is so beautiful. She's got like nouveau drops here on the pine um, sprig. She's got a little pine cone here with added details and look at the detail in that flower. Not to mention the detail on these ice skates. Holy moly, oh, this is gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then the silver paper for the skates too. Absolutely stunning. It says cottage cuts, holiday ice skate, and peaking Santa. So these are cottage cuts dies that she's used um, on my tag base. So I love that those are perfectly sized, by the way. These are amazing, amazing. And then look at these cute little rain boots she made. Ah, oh, polka dot rain boots. <laughs> I don't know which would be cuter to have, purple ones or green polka dot ones. <laughs> yellow polka dot ones, rain boots with chickens, and there can just be so many rain boots. Oh, so very cute. Thank you so much, um, Lonnie, for sending me these beautiful, beautiful projects. They are absolutely stunning, stunning. So thank you so much. And I think, um, I think all my subscribers here can be nothing but inspired by seeing your beautiful work. So thank you so much for sharing. And everyone, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to put these up on display so that I can enjoy them and see them and be inspired. And uh, huh, I, you guys might have to come back to this video to see these amazing projects because they're just gorgeous. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll probably be back on later this weekend with some more um, inspiration. And then um, back on Monday, I think, to share the hashtag for March. So as we wrap up February and the So In Love February inspiration, uh, we'll be ready to move on to March. So thanks, everyone, for watching. And I hope you have a good one. Bye.